So are all of you heeding the warning signs that are taking place, not just with the financial part, with the whole weather part, or with even, you know, uh, lack of food, or maybe the lack of a place to live because you can't afford it anymore because of inflation. Now you do have the government and stuff they're turning around. You know, we've had two consecutive quarters and we've been in the negative, which usually does trigger say a recession, but now they are saying, no, it doesn't because, you know, there's still a lot of people at work. A lot of people haven't lost their jobs and none of this stuff has taken place. Who knows what's going on? Here's what's really happening though. A lot of people out here, you just can't make ends meet. It just goes hand in hand. So whatever they want to call it, whatever you think it may be, well, I have no idea. You know what I'm saying? All I know is there's a lot of people that are suffering right now because of the situation that we have been put in. We have to turn around and we have to figure out ways of, well, we got to deal with this whole mess, right? But on top of that whole mess, you know, we got Mother Nature that's throwing us curveballs left and right, and we haven't even got a hurricane yet. I mean, did everybody see the huge floods this past week, like in Kentucky, Tennessee, all the way over through St. Louis and stuff, and people's homes and livelihoods were completely demolished and washed away due to these heavy rains and heavy floods. You know, the rain goes down in the mountains, and when it hits that valley, it's just like a raging river. That little stream, well, no longer is a little stream. Roads turn into rivers. They couldn't rescue people. It is just a very sad type of situation that we are in. Now, I am not talking about global warming here. I'm not talking about climate change. I'm not talking about anything, but Mother Nature decided to have a storm pattern that hasn't really changed too much. And that just keeps bringing the storms in. And if you put a heavy rain into the mountains on a constant daily basis, as they were getting, this is what happens. This is why it pays to be prepared. Because if you are prepared and you have supplies and extra supplies and everything else, you know, you have something to fall back on in these types of situations. And I know everybody out there, you're sitting there and you're saying, but survival preparedness for beginners. If I had everything stored in my house and my house got washed away, well, what good is that gonna do me then? Why should I even be prepping? Well, this is why you should be prepping. What you should be doing is, is you wanna make sure that you do have the things in your home that you need to survive. That's a given. You also have to have a second area where you can store these type of supplies away from your home in case of this type of scenario. When that happens, well then, you have still have other supplies in a different location. Maybe if you do live in a valley or something like that and you are prone to flooding and everything, maybe you need to have a place up in the mountains someplace where it won't be flooding and it won't be destroyed by the waters and the flood waters and be washed downstream for somebody else to find. You see folks, this is where this all takes place. That's why you always have your stuff at your main home and then you wanna make sure that you have something at another location. Rather it be you want to bury it. If you have, if you have a lot of property or something and you wanna store it in a secure location somewhere else, maybe in a shed, barn, whatever it could be. It could be a family member, it could be a friend. Whatever the case may be, this way here, you are covered in that particular situation. Now, we also have to really realize what is taking place. You know, the other day that they just announced that out in Las Vegas, because of the fires that are burning out there have contaminated some of the water sources, reserves that they do have in that area out there, and they have less than 50 days worth of water left for that region. We all know that Lake Mead is dropping like wildfire. I mean, it just keeps going down and down. And if that continues within the next year or so, they're gonna be turning off that water supply and that dam will no longer be supplying power. So it's a two-edged sword here, folks, because they're gonna lose their water, they're gonna lose their power, and for what? 
I mean, they're not getting the snowpack that they used to get years ago, and they're definitely not getting any of the rain that they used to get years ago. And you explain to me why is it that the government is setting back and, you know, the farmers out in that area are not going to be able to produce the crops that they have produced in years past. It's just not going to happen. You know, but they don't want to turn around and tell us that kind of stuff. You know, if you keep reading these reports and stuff online, what you do get is a bunch of BS because they want to just make sure that you are not being informed. They want to make everything sound like, you know, we're going to have a decent year and this and, and our crops are going to be growing and everything is going to be fine. So now we're, you know, if you're down fertilizer and you're down water to water these fields, and they're not getting adequate rainfall, what do you think is going to happen? It's not going to be a pretty scenario in the fall of this year coming into next year. This is what you got to do, folks. All right. Now pay close attention to what I'm about to say. You need to make sure that you're setting back and you need to make sure that you are being prepared. You got to make sure that you are trying to catch any deals that you can catch at any of the stores that you shop at. I don't care if it's Walmart. I don't care if it's Target, a price chopper, if it's uh, Shaw's, if it is Publix, Winn-Dixie, Hannaford's, whatever the stores may be in your local area, Kroger, whatever it is. You really got to start being really creative with your money because inflation is going up. But don't worry, we're not in a recession, as they say, but you just can't afford anything anymore. You have poor old Walmart there. My heart just bleeds for them. You know, I mean, they're crying the blues. They had to lower their expectations the other day. And they're also announcing now what? They're reselling uh, refurbished goods again, like I announced in my video just yesterday. This is just crazy, folks. I mean, come on. What is it? Okay, now we're going to take the junk, fix it. And how good is this stuff going to be? And then we're going to turn around and resell it again? Don't be the fools, folks. They want your money. They know you don't have money to buy the real stuff. So you're going to buy the stuff that's been fixed and we're going to take, you know, 50, 75 bucks off of it. Save your money if that's the case and make sure that you're buying something that's going to last hopefully longer than the refurbished products will. And if you do buy the refurbished products, make sure you are buying a warranty with them because that is going to be your lifesaver at that point in time. The moral of the story here is folks, we have to pay attention, we have to be prepared, we have to be able to adapt to the constant changing conditions that are taking place on a daily basis, on an hourly basis. We have to be ready. We have to have things stored in other areas. We have to split our supplies up and try to move them so that we have some here and we have some there. And this way we're covered and we don't have to worry about the whole scenario of anything going on. If you get what I'm really saying here. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank you for joining me for this video today. You all need to stay safe. You gotta keep prepping folks and make sure that you're trying to do the best you can to save as much money as you can. This way here, you can put it towards your preps and everything else so you and your family will be ready because the storm is here. The time to prepare has come and gone, but you have to try and make sure that you're doing the best you can with what you have to be ready because the boat just sprung a leak. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.